How about that? Starting the buyers and sellers show out slow with I only have eyes for you. Cause I only have eyes. Remember this song? And so today's about having eyes. You're on the Buyers and Sellers show, pre-show. And I only have eyes for you. This is about the importance of eyes in those pictures. We're going to have Mr. Marty Moran here with us with white hot headshot. And yesterday he did my headshots, and I said, Marty, I got to have you on. Let's just do it tomorrow. And so we put this together real quick. Welcome, everybody. We're live on the Buyers and Sellers Show. Thank you so much. We already got some comments here. Joseph, good morning. Glad you're here. Good morning. Glad you made it. Thank you very much. And I want to encourage everybody to definitely jump in there and uh, make some comments and be part of us. And now I want to bring the star of the show, Mr. Marty Moran, in from the green room. Hi, Marty. Hi there. How are you? I'm doing great. Good morning. How are you today? It's a great morning. I'm still alive. I'm above ground. You are. You are. Yep. You're very above ground. Very and I, I, Marty, I want to just show people an example of your work right off the bat here. And I think I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to do this by showing starting with your website to begin with. And I'm just going to click that on so people can see. And then I'll be taking it off because it seems to drain a lot from the broadcast. But I want people to see it. So we're going to let's get over to where your site would be. Oops. <laughs> Marty, while I'm doing that, would you tell the people about what you're, what you do and, and who you are in your company and kind of a little history about what you do? Well, it was probably 45 years ago that I started photography, but as I evolved doing weddings and the like, I noticed a lot of headshots through LinkedIn, Facebook, other places that were terribly done. And I thought, why are people showing their faces in the worst light or in the worst situation? And I said, I know I can bring out the best in people. And I photographed models for a number of years. I always caught these fascinating looks of their eyes. And it doesn't matter about the clothing they wear, but it was about the eyes. So I started doing headshots and I realized that a clean white background doesn't age a photograph. And I also noticed that when you use color, it ages it to an era or something like that. So I, and I looked at backgrounds and I saw backgrounds that were so distracting. Like my background behind me is full of activities. This is my life, but in a headshot, not a great thing. And it needs to be clean. Like these are, these are just pure white background focuses on the eyes and you can see the personalities come out in the eyes. I think people build trust. If people show in their photographs that they love the people that are talking to trust is built and people don't even have to know you. But many times I see, I look at eyes and I say, I can't even see their eyes. And I got that fraudulent smile sometimes from some people. And, uh, I guess I'm not understanding why people wouldn't invest in their own face as much as they want to invest in their company because your face is the face of the company that you represent. 
And all these people are planners. Like I see all these planners. I see people that are IT people, people that are uh, celebrities like this young lady right here. She's a model, a world-class model. And um, many of these people are just, uh, she trains PTSD dogs, this young lady. So the eyes are magical to me. And they tell the story. And if you're lying, it shows up in your eyes. If you're telling the truth, it shows up in your eyes. Can I trust you? So that's basically where it started from. But I will give this little ditty. There was in the beginning when I started doing these that I was doing a lot of weddings. And uh, I would sit with couples in my studio and I would hear her talk and watch his eyes and hear him talk and watch her eyes. And you could tell whether you're going to get free money or you're going to do a wedding. It was an interesting way of putting it. But oftentimes they are not on the same page. They just think each other is kind of cool and cute. But the truth is endurance lasts through the eyes and honesty and integrity lasts through the eyes. If you're honest, I mean, yesterday when we did your headshot, Jay, there, we only took, how many photos did we take? About four? Yeah, I think you took two for doing some sort of adjustments. And then we took, after that, was it was about four pictures. That was it. That was it. That's all we needed. Yeah. And we got the photos. Some people think it's the number of photos that you take. But to me, if I get it right in one or two shots, we're done. Because you're paying for my what I know and my talent, not how many proofs you get. I don't, I don't work that way. And interestingly enough, when I take your photo, I choose them for you because you're the personal one. You're very subjective. I'm very objective and I'm the public. So when I choose these photos, I look at your eyes and go, I buy from him or her. So that's well, kind of that's right. one of the things that I really liked when I met you. Uh, the, you had a perspective. You just weren't talking about taking pictures. And I've been doing professional pictures all my life. And I know there's great value in it. But um, what you got my attention because you were talking about is the right look, being special. And then the other part that you were talking to me about was that you invest your thinking and stuff into helping me be successful. What's that all about? I mean, you're more than just a photographer. Well, I think this is a good example of that. When I'm doing headshots for somebody, I can tell when they really love their clients or if they're just trying to sell their junk to me. I can tell by the look in their eyes. And I know in a photograph, if you're just wanting to sell the business that you're in, or if you genuinely care about the people that you say you love, but do you, what do you love the people or do you love their money more? There is a difference in the public is very fickle and the public likes, I don't know if I can say it, they like simpleness in sales. They come to you to buy, they don't wanna be sold to. So I don't push a sale. But I do see, um, I do see sometimes an error in their judgment on what they think is a good photograph for their public display. And people, I will say this, I do know this, that if they look at your LinkedIn profile and your eyes are dark or you have a crummy looking smile or you got a distracting background, people pass you right on by and they won't even look at your bio. If they like your headshot, they will look at your bio and there's a connection. You want that connection. And people will just drive by. It's like my studio, when I had it, was on Main Street in Greenfield or on State Street, I want to say. And people drove by it for many years and didn't even know it was there. And then when they found me, they go, I've been driving by this place seven years. And I didn't even know you were here because I didn't push the sale. But then they found me. That's the same thing they do with your LinkedIn profile, your Facebook profile. If they don't like the photo, they just drive right on by. And I want to stop people from just driving by your place. So my goal now from yesterday is sometime next week, I'm going to do your picture, post your picture on social media, tell your story and see if we can reach you to many more people than you already reach. That's my goal. There you go. And Joseph says, sold. I'll schedule a headshot with you, Marty. Great, Joseph. Thanks, Joseph. Appreciate that. That's great. Thank you for that. <laughs> That'll be good. And, and you've got... Uh, his information is right there at whitehotheadshot.com. Yes. And uh, that's the that's the place uh, you want to go. And also, uh, you're going to get this information here 
right there. I'm going to click this up. Here's his contact information. It may be in the chat area where you are as well. It is. is Marty and his phone number and uh, his email and everything. So you're going to be able to get on. That's 317-912-4323. And let's talk a little bit about how you're doing business now, because for years you were a big wedding guy and had a, a studio on Main Street and things like that. And you still do these things, but your reputation is kind of carrying your business. And you're in central Indiana. The model is, well, I'm going to show a picture and then you can tell people what you do. Okay. There we are. There that's we are. My, that's my piano room. <laughs> What we do is now we travel to your location. I had a studio for 14 or 15 years and I felt like it was people coming to me and I wasn't really what I, in my heart, I wanted to be a service company. By the way, and, you can uh, scoot over if you want to look uh, on the side of the, the picture. You've got, if you see where you, if you move your head over left or right, uh, you you actually get where you're, you're in the corner there. Oh, there right there. there you go. Okay, I'll move my camera. Yeah, so we're just kind of looking here. Anyway, the idea is to the idea is to take the service to you. And I believe that oftentimes we want everybody to come to us and we call it service. But service is going to the people. So now I closed my studio down on May 31st. Mm -hmm. It was a it was the best day of my life to cut it down. So now I take my gear and I travel to your location and Yesterday, if, if, if you have the photos of your day in the set that I did, you can show them the photos that we did at your place, which and was we're going to, That's the grand finale. The grand finale. <laughs> <Great. Okay. laughs> I appreciate that, Jay. Thanks. There we go. That's the grand finale. <laughs> okay, let's see. Jennifer Terrell says, hello, Jay. Well, hi, Jennifer. Thanks for coming. Glad you're here. And... Uh, uh, Headshot and Joseph was here. That's good. I appreciate that. And so now let's look here. Relationships. I, I That's one of the fun things that I've had with you that we got to talk and, and you sounded special and I didn't really fully understand the specialness of what you were going to do. But I liked it. Does that happen? Is that what happens? People get to talk and, and they go, you know, I've had pictures before, but this sounds different. And they go ahead and pay you and see what you do. Well, let's put it this way. How quick do you build trust with people? How quick? Well, Sometimes and you, quick. you and know I'm, right away if you if you're gonna trust somebody. I'm I'm right away. I have people that come to when, when I had my studio, people would meet with me the first time. And it's just funny because people would open their heart and just tell me their whole life story. It's like because I'm non-threatening. I, I think that's where it is. Uh, my wife trusts me, and that's the most important part of it. We've been married 51 years, and uh, there should be a lot of trust there. But she trusts me, and she tells me what's in her heart. I would not betray that. And it's the same thing with building relationships. If you're a type of person that doesn't trust people and you're cynical, I'm probably not your uh, best headshot guy. Because the people that come to me, they come to me because they see something different and people buy from people. They're not just, I mean, I have people say, well, how much are your headshots? When I tell them they got to get sticker shock a little bit, but I traveled to people and I don't mind saying that my, uh, my price when I travel to you is three fifty for headshots. It's yeah. well worth that price. And then I tell your story and I market you, but some people say, Oh my gosh, that's more than I wanted to spend. And that's okay. Uh, JC Penny and other places have, People that shoot it really quick just so you have it, but you don't get a white hot headshot out of that. That's true. And look here, Jennifer just said, I know your niece, Sharon. She's my friend for five years now. Yes. Well, good, Jennifer. Thank you so much for coming here. And Sharon is famous here because she's gone live every single day for thousands of days, like 13 or 1400 days in a row. Unbelievable. That's famous. That's famous. She, she's famous. <laughs> and uh, so, Let's look at some more of your customers. And what we're going to do is like I, I did a scoot over here a little bit. I'm going to show some pictures and I'll just clip through them. If you have anything to say, I want people to get some sort of an idea of the of the work. We saw some on your website. Here's some more. And I'm just going to clip, click down through these. 
And, I'm moving uh, my face uh, over the little gap here. There we go. There we and go. Uh, then there's there and the. I'm just, she's a realtor, a realtor, very particular realtor, but she loves the way I photograph her. She says nobody photographs me like you do. And um, I have several people like that. They won't go to anybody else except me because I know how to pull out the look in the eyes. The eyes are everything. Look at her eyes. Just amazing. She runs and manages a bank in uh, Pendleton, I believe it is, Pendleton. But her eyes are dazzling and they draw your attention in. And, her and then when you meet her, she's a doll. And he's uh, a pastor in uh, Chicago who came down to see me. And uh, his wife and him are both going to come down soon to get both of them. She does. She has a business in Chicago as well. So they're both coming down soon to get more headshots. And she, I met her by instance, this little gal. And uh, she has got such a beauty about her. She's a military veteran but such a beautiful lady. And when I talked to her, we became instant friends and she goes, I got to have you doing some work for me. So I did her headshot plus some marketing. I do marketing too. So I did some marketing work for her and a very happy woman and beautiful, beautiful gal. And this one here, she was a planner in the industry in the wedding industry ran a, uh, the showcase for a venue and uh, we had talked and she came to see me and I love how her eyes are like so focused. There's, you know, she didn't look far away and she's very eclectic. This young lady is very eclectic, very unique gal. And, uh, but her photos and the glasses, if you notice, there's not a lot of glare. You don't see glare in the glasses. It's kind of the way I shoot. Mm -hmm. I don't like glaring glasses. I don't like, um, if I see that gloss in the glasses. So I changed like yours. I changed the lighting plan yesterday for you because of the, I saw a little bit of a glare in your glasses. Mm -hmm. Those are things we work on. This guy here has been a, just a good friend of mine for years. He used to be a running back for the Colts and he played in Europe, but we became fast friends and we meet regularly for lunch, but he is, he's ready to do an updated headshot. He said so, and she used to work for me actually. And now she just, she won't go anyplace else for photographs. She just loves to come to me because she likes the way I take care of her eyes and she's got beautiful eyes. Ryan is, he's, he's a networker and Jay, you got to meet this guy. He's a mover and a shaker in Indianapolis. He does a lot of networking. He does podcasts. I'm actually going to be on one of his shows coming up in August, but a, such a kind man and a self-starting, um, just had a, a baby girl. He, she's three months old now. He's an amazing guy. So, and uh, if you know Darla, she's a children's books writer. She's amazing and bubbly. She's 50 years old and just bubbly all over the place. But her eyes are fascinating. In fact, one of her photos, maybe this one, made it into a magazine for a, a fashion magazine. So so yeah. we have a lot of things going on. Well, is it, this is good. And everyone needs to know this isn't all the pictures. I just showed a few. And he's got a story about every person. And that's beautiful. And so now, you know, he came to my house. I gave him a credit card, paid him 350 bucks, made an appointment, canceled the first appointment because something was going on. I couldn't make it. And then, but he came the second time we re reset. Um, he only made one trip though. And uh, then he came in my living room. He carried this stuff in. I didn't have to do anything. It was just like, it was so easy to have him in. When you come to someone's house, what's involved? What do you need? What, what has to happen? Well, I need a room, obviously, but I need a, a place where I can shoot. I don't need a lot of height because of the way I do headshots. Most of the time when you see people come in, they bring these all these lights that have to be at 45 degree angle. I don't need that. Uh, if the room is really short and you're really tall, I might have you sit down. But typically, like you did yesterday, you stood up because your posture's erect when you stand up. Mm -hmm. But I need a room that has that's long enough for me to work in. It doesn't have to be high but it has to be long enough because i don't want you right into the background because it blows out your head and i don't want the lighting to to disrupt the background lighting so i pull you closer to the main light and i just set things up and take it actually i was in and out of your house in about an hour and it took five minutes no more than 10 for the photos the rest of it was setup time and teardown time. And then I was out. It was quick. It was very you easy. Walk with your dog. <laughs> easy and painless. Let's see. we got some more comments here. Uh, 
uh, Jennifer just said she shared uh, the broadcast. Thank you, share. Thank you, Jennifer. Thanks, Jennifer. Really appreciate that sharing. Um, so as we go here, I, I said now the pictures we took are going to be the grand finale, and uh, so here, here's a uh, here's one example right there, and that's number one. Now I want to if there's anybody online wants to vote, that's number one. That's number two. And this is number three. Now they all have a little bit different feel to them. So if you got one, two, or three, you want to type in comments and vote, see which one you like best. <laughs> but uh, all my headshots, I mean, it's been six or seven years probably since I had professional shots done. Never had anything this good. And it's like, man, this is going to be great. So if you one, two, or three, if you want to vote, you can do that. And then he came back and he said, here, here's some fun. And he put in a background with a microphone. He gave me one of these. It's like, oh, how cool. And some other stuff. Uh, Marty, you're so fun doing this. Uh, and I just have to tell people that the investment is worth it to get good quality pictures. And it's reflective of your business and how you like to do business yeah. and uh, people if they see a high quality headshot which i've always done some sort of professional pictures it means a ton uh for business and uh, your reputation out there in the marketplace thanks i appreciate that so now marty we're gonna see if there's other comments hello to you jennifer she says hi to you marty there you go Remember i said hi jennifer yeah thank you now let's, <laughs> uh, let's go looking down the street here we've got this you people people don't have time to write it down they can but now there's something else interesting about marty he's also an author and uh, he's got a book and he's going to show it to us and tell us about your book this is the book. I'll put it right in front of the camera for a second. Okay, and I'm gonna. This is the link, but nobody. I'm gonna copy it and put it in the in stuff. There we go. So get married once, do it right, and it's a um, culmination of a story of uh, two people that were to totally a mess, who found a way to get healed and excel in love, and that's my wife and I. And uh, my, my mother, who's 95, she read the book before her eyesight started failing her. And she, she wrote the little note on the back of the book, which says, if women read this book, they'll stop marrying stupid men. <laughs> I thought that was the funniest thing when she did that. But that's my mother. That is great. And by the way, everyone, you can go to Amazon. And uh, the, the, I put the link in here, and I'm going to throw the link up in uh, comments as well. Um, but... If you go to Amazon and you just type Marty Moran and then hit enter, it'll bring right up to his book right here. Thanks to you. I'm working on the second book right now and it's about mental illness. And I think I've found some roots. I'm not going to give things away yet, but I'm in the process of writing the second one. I'm really motivated now to get that done. I have a few more books in my mind of things I want to do. But I don't want to write books that are meaningless just to just to write books. I feel like this is something that will help people. And I hate the idea of there's so many self-help books out there. Uh, I don't want to be categorized like that. Um, but I do think like my book, the one on marriage, it's a book that women do read, but men need to read because it will help a man understand a woman. If you find the way to her heart, you don't ever lose her. And that's what I've learned with my wife. I found the way to her heart and I know her heart very, very well. And I will say she surprises me sometimes, but I don't get disoriented because of that. I just still, I'm still studying her. And I think a lot of people give up on the studying of each other because they're too complicated, but the heart is work. The, the physical side is the fun side sometimes, but the heart is work. And when you really get to know that person, there's some depth. There's some depth that is created. And I married my wife, like I said, 51 years old. She's almost 70. And she is so hot. I call her. I tell her she's hot all the time. She's a she's a she's a beautiful, beautiful book. Beautiful, beautiful 
picture in that book, I should say. Yeah, and uh, uh, right now that book in paperback, Jennifer, it looks like it's six dollars and eighty-one cents. I don't know. I think the last time that I saw it, I saw the date on there was twenty-one, but I think the last time it was thirteen dollars. There you go. Uh, but if I meet people, oftentimes I give them a copy of the book because I'd rather it be in people's hands than just. You know, if you want to buy the book, I think that's great and I appreciate that. But oftentimes I meet with people that I see that want to read the book and it's about a five hour read. I want to tell you a little story about this real quick. Okay. I have a friend who I'm mentoring right now. He's working with me and doing video and he's got a girlfriend. She lives in Canada. She, he called her up one time, got a copy of my book, read the book to her on the phone for five hours. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Man, what an honor. That was beautiful. I love that. And they are so tight. And now we're having dinner with them on Monday night. So that's a, a beautiful story. I love those kind of stories. That is fantastic. Marty, you touched a lot of people's lives and you continue to do it today. And I really appreciate you coming on the show and, and sharing. Is there something final that you want to be sure and say to people uh, before we wrap it up? Um. Be real. I mean, I meet with people often and people are looking for a style, for example. But um, and I will tell you the final. There's a woman who did come to me and she's gorgeous, had her hair and makeup done. And then she just said, I don't really like the way my hair is. And her eyes were so far away from the photo that I said to her, look, people don't care about your hair. They don't care about your anything else to make up. What they want is your eyes. Just smile like you love them. And the photos uh, are just amazing. And I think they might be in that group of photos that I sent to you. But her photo turned out amazing because I, I cast away, I threw away all the photos that showed her eyes far away and distracted. The one that's the ones that she wanted, and now she calls me for everything. Her daughter, her daughter did senior photos. She called me because she knows I know how to capture things. So I'm just saying that if you wanted in the public's eye, they're looking at your they're looking at your face. I, I got to reiterate this. Everyone needs a good headshot because the public looks at your face on social media and goes, I don't like that face. And people are, are fickle, cynical um, about everything. And they lack trust in the public. The public is we've, we've done that to ourselves. We're not trustworthy. Most of us. So if you want trustworthy, you get a good headshot. So your eyes are magical. And the people say, I think I can trust that person. I'd like to meet them. That's what happens when people meet with me. My headshot, I mean, I'm 73 and I'm still working and doing things. But people like, they feel like my eyes are trustworthy. So they come see me and we build a relationship and now they come to me all the time. So when they need a redo headshot, they come see me again. So I would say, everyone, your, your business is not your business. Your face is your business. That's a key thing. They don't study the eyes of your business. They study your eyes because you're a person. They want to, people buy from people. They don't buy from businesses. I have to know if I don't buy from, I have people, how many people in this room get advertisements all the time and nobody buys from them because they're just trying to sell you stuff. Mm -hmm. The first time, like you said, Jay, you weren't so sure. And then when you had the experience, now you see it, it made a difference in you it because did. the experience that we had. And I'm grateful that that you trusted me for that experience. So it took a while to do that, but you had to learn who I was. I learned who you were and you asked a lot of good questions. So that's part of it. I don't know how much more I can say about that, that's but your right. face is your marketing, your face, not your business. Your face is your marketing. People buy from your face. They buy if they like your eyes. Well, Marty Moran, thank you so much for being here. Uh, I'm going to wrap up the show. If you'll step back into the green room, don't eat all the refreshments, Scott. We'll come okay. back. I'll come back and visit afterwards. But uh, uh, thank you for coming and sharing your white hot headshot.com. Thank, thank you, my friend. I'll be here when you come find me. I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye. All right. Now. Thank you. And everyone, this has been the Buyers and Sellers Show again, this time with white hot headshot Marty Moran. And uh, all I can say is yesterday when he just came over to my house, he was in and out in less than an hour and 
what I got was like, wow, these are really nice. And I, I just thought, I'm going to show everybody. This is a spur of the moment type of production. And I want to thank everyone for coming. Let's see if there's any additional comments. And there we go, Greg. Good morning. Good to see you. We're on the, the wrap up. I'm so glad you came, Gregory. And uh, everyone that's here, I know there's a lot more people than who comment. That happens. Sometimes the topics just don't lend themselves to any comments and questions, but you're very interested and I appreciate that. So have a great day. I'll see you again next Friday. Same time, same channel, 1035 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, The Buyers and Sellers Show. Thanks for coming here. And I only have eyes. For you. I'll see you next time. Bye now.